Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Decking Around Deck Specs. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Antler playing cards from Dan and Dave. But before we jump into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And ring the bell. So Steve, why don't you tell us a little bit about this deck? This is the fifth edition in the Antler family and it is printed by USPCC on premium crushed stock. It's an unspecified print run as well. Nice. Let's take a look. This tuck blew me away. It's printed on matte paper, but it's it, it's a little kind of um, polished, I guess you can say, which makes the the ink on it look like it's foil, but it's not. It's actually metallic ink. Yeah, which is such a cool effect. Oh, dude, uh, it, it blew me away. Uh, the back design is your you know your standard antler. It's got a black. It's not jet black, but it's a nice almost like uh, a charcoal. You know, yeah, it, it's really nice. I dig it. Handles wonderfully for uh, USPCC crush stock, obviously. Yeah, no surprise there. Yeah. Um, I love the filigree that's on the back. You know, obviously that comes from that tuck box yeah. as well. Two matching jokers. That ace of spades is so beautiful. Yeah, it's such an ornate but like outdoorsy feeling ace. It's so cool. That dude, it reminds me of basically something you'd see on your wall in kind of like a, a, a cabin or something in the woods, you know? Yeah. You know, standard court cards. Nice. It has, it definitely has different uh, indices, as you can see. It has uh, a really cool kind of, I mean, I mean, I can't even describe it. I don't know how to describe it. It's definitely not your standard indices. Yeah, you know, they, they look a little more have... like modern. Yeah. Good, good word there for you. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely more modern. Uh, you know, obviously standard aces as well. Nice. Looks I dig the colors though. Looks like the yellow is a little more subdued as well on the courts, making it a little, little more of a recolor than a traditional. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the whole deck is. I guess you can say it's muted. It definitely has that. I mean, standard antler vibe. You know. Yeah. Um, it's a cool John Muir quote. It is such a good looking deck. Yeah, it really is. I mean, if you're a hunter, you like anything outdoors, and you know, this is definitely a, a great deck to bring along to, you know, any, uh, you know, vacation you go on or get away. You know? Absolutely. Now, and I, I really can't get over how nice that tuck looks with the uh, metallic ink on it with that kind of like almost like brushed foil look to it. I know when we saw this in person originally, like it blew my mind absolutely as well, because I think, you know, Dan was so excited about the fact that it was a, a metallic ink on this paper. And they've used this paper in the past, and it just has this effect on the metallic ink that makes it look like a raised kind of foil. In con you know, in conjunction with the embossing they do on the tuck, it's just such a unique look to it. Yeah, it, I mean, it blew me away. I was, I was definitely shocked that it wasn't foil. Yeah, absolutely. But definitely a great deck, and I think at the, you know, the standard AOP price point that... Uh, or the standard Dan and Dave price point, it really is a great everyday carry for anyone who is an outdoor enthusiast. Yeah, we're not, we're not totally positive how much it's going to come in at yet, but probably around the, you know, 12 to $15 range, like maybe previous versions. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you everyone for checking out this episode of Decking Around Deck Specs. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We drop these every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday, so make sure you keep an eye out. Peace.